Hello and welcome to the next episode of my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Blind Let's Play. Uh, what was it again? I have had to check the episode number countless times because I keep forgetting what episode it is. I'll be right with you guys. Please stand by. Uh, episode 19. Welcome to episode 19 of my blind Pokemon Rescue Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. Let's play. The first after Pokemon Day, but I don't know that because, well, I'm recording this on the same day as the last episode, so. <clears throat> right. Uh, last time we went through, what was it? That one cave. And uh, we fried yet another boss. This time it was Spiritomb. Uh, very, very convenient critical hit. Completely obliterated him doing over 300 damage, which I appreciated. I'm sure you liked watching it. But, um, who knows uh, if the next boss will be as easy. Already saved. Already saved before recording this. Uh, nothing to, in to take or store from storage. What do you mean I have nothing to take from storage? I have stuff in there. I don't know why it's doing that. Whatever. Well... But anyway, without further ado, I, I say we just go into the, this, uh, this cave here. If you don't hurry, the Sable will catch up to us. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Well, let's go. Are you all ready? Is Gorval gonna come with us like Absol from the original games? You seem to be finally prepared. Let's go then. We'll find Celebi and return to the past. Let's go. Oh wait, don't go. What is it? The three of us do return to our world. Gorval, will you? Steal a time gears like you did before? Well, yes I will, otherwise the plant's paralysis can't be stopped. But I... Grovel, I'm not convinced yet. I'm not... I don't completely trust... Stanley, stop. I'm only cooperating with you because I want to return to our world. If you do return, Grovel, I'll investigate if you really were stealing those time gears to prevent the planet's paralysis. Grovel, if I decide that you're wrong for stealing time gears, I'm gonna stop you, Grovel. Do as you will, but keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to our world. So for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. I don't know how this guy puts up with this crap. Stanley, you're, you're making an embarrassment of us. I feel it. I'm something really strange. Hmm? What's the matter, Dallas? I just know it. I felt something like this before. It was... That's it! It was when... Oh, that was a while ago. Hmm, what's wrong, Dallas? What's this weird sensation? I don't know if you're this way. Ugh. Wait a second. I know this place. I thought so. This is similar to the sensation I had back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry. You have to hurry, Dallas. Alright then. Oh, come on. Wehehe. <laughs> Oh, hello there. Well, I can't do anything against you, but these two sure can. So what is this funky on music? Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Got a little bit of Zelda in there. Did anyone else feel that? That's definitely like, like some like Zelda motifs in there. Come on, let's just fit it right into Wind Waker. I'm actually making my way through that as my first Zelda game that I'm gonna beat, because I haven't beaten a Zelda game yet. Oh, do I still have my Petra Berry? I think I still do. Let's eat it right after destroying this guy. Well, if that's gonna be a common theme, I think I have a Petra Scarf somewhere that I could wear. Where is it? Just go, scarf, 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 scarf. No scarf? Hmm, that's a shame. Where'd that thing go? Whatever. Um. Okay. I've probably seen this way out of beat. I listened to the, like, the last time I sang a dungeon theme back when I was you were watching an episode, and it sounded pretty bad, so you know I'm gonna stop doing that until I've like, really adjusted to the dungeon theme, and then I'll do it. I'm awesome. Alright. Grovile is level 46? 
I just looked over at the top left screen. Um... And I... Are we underleveled? It certainly hasn't felt that way, or is this thing just purposefully overleveled, just in case you're actually underleveled? I mean, come on, also, jump off as a way... That's a... That's, that shade of blue is a bit too light. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, come on. A trip trap, whatever the hell that did. Um... Right. Well, uh, that, that, that's, that makes me kind of anxious. Am I actually underleveled for this? I mean, you saw the way we handled Mesprit and Spirit Tomb. It doesn't look overleveled. Or maybe just Charge and Spark is too good of a strategy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 like, anyone that's well-versed in this game, can I, like, can you actually tell me if, like, this is something... I don't know. I don't think I'm underleveled, and if I am, it's a it's the, it's the good kind of underleveled, I guess. I don't know. Like we're getting a normal amount of XP from enemies. It's not that bad. Whatever. It's fine. Mm. You know, I said stop. Stop. I really would have liked to wear that patch of scarf, to be honest. I kind of have something like it. Oh, I had a person band. Come on. I have a seed somewhere for this, I know it. Oh, boy. Eh, stairs aren't too far away. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's in the bottom right, isn't it? That's fun. Would really like to have a warp trap. Like that convenient one last episode. And oh no. Um... I need to get my gamepad charger. Oh, where is that motherfucker? Come on. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, alright, I got it. Um, alright. Where were we? Yeah, bottom right. Come on. Okay, great. Um, this poison is weak as frick. What is blood doing? What thinks he's on the team? Talking about the Mothin. Um,. If you don't know what is blood doing, bro thinks he on the team was a popular meme back in 2022 to 2023. I need to feature proof these episodes better, and this is my way of doing that. Uh, I also think that my quality is enough of a hit to my future proofing, but uh, that's a different thing altogether. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Stupid bulky ass ghost. Oh, there's another one. Thanks. It's great help. Uh, nope. Right. Yeah, there they are. Oh, we got a color change. It reminds me of that Link's Awakening forest. Come on, you guys. 
confusion is too much in the Mystery Dungeon series. It's too much in the main series, too. I've said this before, but I don't like confusion. Like, number one, there isn't a specific healing item for it, right? You can still get another status condition, right? Like, the one in three chance to freaking get, like, to, to hit yourself and lose a turn. Right? Recoil damage probably would have been enough. And God knows how long it's gonna last. Like, and, and, and you could get it, like, a lot in, in the early game, like, from Zubat and Ghastly. Like, you take me a few examples. Like, it, it's devastating. It's, like, worse than Attract, worse than Paralysis, worse than Sleep. It's just, it's that bad. And, like, and like the abilities that prevent it are, like, few and far between. It's, it's, it's really, it's really annoying. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not alone on this, by the way. Like, very, I, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure there are very few people watching that, like, don't really think confusion is that bad. Mm. Neato. This is a big floor. And that isn't. That's not really good comp. That's not really good when uh, paired with poison. But uh, what am I gonna do about it? Iron Thorn. It's probably an upgrade over the Graveler Rocks. But almost there. I think we're almost there. I hope we're almost there. Running out of PP. I think I have a bunch of like PP items in my bag. Oh, there they are. I got some money too. Okay. I could definitely use those early stairs. Uh, Alright. I saw a Twitter thread earlier today saying that Explorers of Sky was hard to revisit compared to RTDX and like Super. And as someone who still has to be in RTDX after getting like nearly two years ago, I'm still on Sky Tower right now. Right, I, this is way easier. Right, and I really hope I don't eat my words there. Like, Groudon was a freaking, like, bastard to beat. Like, and, like, and, 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 and the, the bosses before him weren't any easier. Like, everyone would take me, like, at least a day to do. It was super annoying, but I don't know. I, I guess because the original bosses were harder, but, like, I don't see that here. Which is convenient for a Let's Play, because I, I really don't, I, I don't like it when I, like, multiple episodes just be me trying to get through the same stupid-ass dungeon. So, yeah. I, I, again, I really, really hope I don't eat my words there. I probably should have kept my mouth shut while I think about it. But, yeah. I guess, like, I wonder if you had, like, I guess Groudon, like, you know, Groud Groudon being hard for me is a bit of a theme, isn't it? And what a way to use your last thunder for me. Um, yeah, the Groudon boss fight in this last play was pretty hard, I guess. It took me, like, a few attempts. But, I mean, I got through it. Yeah, I'm really scared. I, I know Rayquaza is going to be, like, a complete... B word to fight. Oh, okay. Forest Heights. Yeah. Uh, is this is this where Salaby is supposed to be? That's right. It was around here that my last time. If only all knows of this place, Salaby would have fled from here. This place is a note to our pursuers, however. And Salaby should still be here. Hello, Salaby. It's me, Grovile. Reveal yourself if you're here. I'm tired. She's not coming out. Did she get frightened off by Primal Dialga? What if... What if she's been captured by Primal Dialga? Captured? Wow, where'd that voice come from? <laughs> oh, I just burped. But no. I don't, I don't hear anything. That voice. Was I just hearing things? Tee hee. Oh, no, I need a voice of Selby. Tee oh. Tee hee. You didn't imagine it. Me? Captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. Tee hee. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna listen to this again. 
Oh, it's been too long. Alright, I'm gonna just sit here and listen to this for a while. I'll let you do it too. Oh, that's good. Alright, no, that's enough. It's been too long, my dear girl, Vile. Yes, it has been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing is Celebi? Now that is downright rude. How inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Uh, I'm sorry. I heard you have the ability to cross time, so I expect you to be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth. Never judge someone by appearance. But, I forgive you. After all, you must find me... You just find me cuter and more special than you imagined. Teehee. Um, yes. Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Grovile, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed your mission in the past, yes? Eric. Yes, it's true. I hope you manage this time. But, um, um, get it because it'll be time. Uh huh. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I've had quite enough of this. Living in this dark and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, no time to chat. The Sable are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have our trouble to. Teehee, it's quite fine. There is no need to be worried. Let those Sable I come. They're of no concern to me. Besides, if you'd be so kind as to prevent the planet's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My dear Grovile, I'll devote my whole life to achieve that end. Alright, where's the passage of time? It's ready. It is nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes. All three of you are taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh? What's this? Your friend. What? What? No. That can't be. Is something the matter, Selby? No. It's nothing. Well then, shall we? Off to the passage of time. Hey, Grovile. So what's the passage of time? The passage of time is a portal that Selby uses to travel through time. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself. But for big trips that span many generations, I must use the passage of time. Oh, so if you're already going through that passage of time... Yes, you'll be able to return to your time. Oh, I see it. Oh, come on. There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. We gotta turn to the passage of the passage of time almost there as soon as we're ready. This just doesn't work, I don't know. Save. Are you all ready? Yep. Good. We're leaving. We'll just make our way to the passage of time. Let's go. Deep Dusk Forest! Alright. Even it looks lighter than the last floor of the Dusk Forest, which is interesting. Oh no, this is not- I'm not doing this. Not today. Yeah. And Celebi is level 45! Huh. Yeah, I think we might actually be overleveled after all. Let me check the- let me check our moves. I can't check her moves. What? We're supposed to find out the hard way? Alright then. Oh boy. You don't have to use Razor Leaf Stanley.
can I use it? No. I just have to hope. Come on! Well, that was underwhelming. Oh wait, no, oh, I accidentally pressed yes. Well, I guess I, uh, could use the artwork, I guess, I don't, I don't know. Can I, uh, yeah. Alright, we're here. I could already see the stairs. That's always a good sign. I thought there was a warp trap for a minute. I was actually going to freak out. <laughs> yeah, my, my heart stopped. <laughs> Alright. That would have been funny. A little bit of trolling from the game, if you will. So come on. Oh, come on. See any heals? Yeah, I do. Is that going to be a thing? Oh, Stanley was the CEO of Missing Mega Drain. I guess I'm not the CEO of Missing Crunch. This thing was so annoying. I guess that goes without saying. Ugh. Come on. Well, since I'm recording this before Pokemon Day, I guess I don't know what came. So I can't really talk about the announcements. I just, just dropped whatever they might have been. Uh, I guess you guys know if you're, if you're watching this after then. Oh, wh why? Why did it become a sandstorm? I guess we might as well get the cash. That's just... It's a forest! What kind of forest gets inflicted with sandstorms every second? I guess there's one Pokemon on the floor that has the ability Sand Stream. I don't know if that's what's happening. Ah, uh, Leafeon. Bulkatron 3000. It just takes hits like a tank. I don't know why. I thought that would be the final blow. Okay, you guys, we're gonna need to call you in here. Oh, so that's like the first instance of an evolution we found, or even e like you know any like anything in Eevee's evolutionary line in general, really, which is interesting. Um, unless you, unless of course you chose Eevee as your starter. Actually, have we seen? I think we've seen Vaporeon before. I don't know, we might have, or no, yeah, we've seen Umbreon and Espeon. Now I think about it. Yeah, disregard my previous statement. I don't know how many floors this is gonna be, but I really hope it ends soon. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, it also has quick attack. Deals with that pretty well. Yeah. And on the topic of us being under leveled, right? I mean, like, we're 10 levels lower than our partners. But, I mean, I don't know. We're getting, like, a decent amount of experience per Pokemon. Right? I don't know. 
two steel eggs sitting in a dungeon room, like two squares apart because they're not gay. I don't know. That reference is way past dated, and I never even had Vine anyway. I don't know why I just said that, but there. I guess I'm just instantly reminded of it. Sandstorm, sandstorm everywhere. Yep. No, it's not going anywhere now, is it? Is Psyduck a starter in this game? Because I think Cloud9 would probably fix this. Oh no. One more. Uh, Stanley? What are you doing? Oh wait, it doesn't have any moves now, does it? out of the woods literally I, I, I our forest and woods the same thing it's been a long corridor you want to talk about corridor syndrome and level design here you go <laughs> there's not been like there have been like two rooms I'm looking at the mini map right now it's like a freaking right. it's like a photo frame um Oh, come on! You can't be serious! Whatever. Finally! Alright. was miserable. Oh, I see it now. There it is. Oh, Celebi's voice again. Is that the passage of time? That's right. That's the passage of time. I went through that to go to the past. Celebi, only you can open the passage of time. Do your thing. Sure! Stop there. That will do. What? That voice. It can't be. Hello to you all. It's been a while. Okay. It's Dust Noir! The Dust Noir! Your scurrying carried you far. But sad to say, that's all over now. Wahahaha. <laughs> a sable eye too! Oof, that's just crafty Dust Noir. Let us throw him free, but he kept our eye on us the whole time. So you could capture Celebi as well as us. What? So you mean we were followed the whole time? I didn't see this coming. It's all my fault, Selby. Oh? Apologies don't stick your si style, my dear girl, Val. And do you honestly think that I can be caught, Teehee? Everyone, are you ready to fight? What? Of course! We're going to power our way through. We'll push them aside, then dive into the passage of time. You got it! Ha, huh, so you resist. Spare yourself the effort. You have no chance of succeeding. We won't know for sure until we try. Dustnor, you and me, now! Grova, are you really such a fool to think that I'd come alone? Or what? Now, Master Dialga! Wah, it turned pitch black. Oh. Okay then. Ah, that, that, that. Gravile, what is it? What is that? That's Primal Dialga. What? That is? That's Primal Dialga? I, I'm de-nerdifying Stanley, wow. What's wrong, Gravile? Where's your bravado now? Gah. My dear Gravile. Uh, this, this is it for us. What? Why? Are we going to fight? It's hopeless. This Nora on his own is one thing. We don't stand a chance against Dialga. You two have kept up so well. I'm sorry to let you down. This is where it ends. But... I surrender, Dust Noir. Do with me as you will. Uh, my dear Grovile. What's the matter, Grovile? It's not like you to give up so easily. Yes, I'm giving up, but hope is still alive. Celebi, you remember. Then last time, when I traveled back in time to, into the present to prevent the, uh, to prevent the planet's paralysis, I wasn't alone. There's was another. What? Grovile, you didn't come to our world alone? That's right. I had a partner. 
We had it to the past together. When we were going through the passage of time, we had trouble. We became separated. My partner should still be back in the world of the past. It, listen, Dust Noir is right behind us, and I like this is a really great story scene, but we gotta keep it quiet, even if I'm eliminated. My partner will see our mission through to the end. My partner will prevent the planet's paralysis. <laughs> what's what's so funny? <laughs> so you claim someone went to the past with you. Incidentally, what's the name of your partner? Go on, say the name. Why is such a thing? Can't tell me? No, that's not true. My partner's name is Dallas. My best friend. What? You know what? Grovile, did he say Dallas? Well, this is Dallas. Right here. What? You're Dallas? No. It, it can't be, it isn't. The Dallas I know isn't a Pokemon. The Dallas I know is a human. What? <laughs> precisely. No, precisely. My good fellow, Grovile, that is unmistakably your friend Dallas. What? That Pokemon you see was once a human. What? Master Dialga had given me a mission. It was to get rid of you, Grovile, and Dallas, because you fled to the past. I traveled through time in pursuit of you both. In the past, I gathered intelligence that might help me find you. And at one point, I met Team 4.9ers. Hello there, you're from the guild if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we're Team 4.9ers. We work at the guild. It's great to meet you. But at that point, I suspected nothing. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me? A dream, you say? But, a dream, what do you mean? When they mentioned the dimensional scream, I was skeptical at first. But then an idea began to take shape in my mind, and... Yes, with the memory of a name, and the memory of being a human before that. I beg your pardon? A human? So, former human, with no memories. A human that possessed the dimensional scream. I became convinced then. You, you are, you said you know your name at least, and that name would be... Oh, I see, you're Dallas. Does that name mean anything to you? No, it means nothing to me, unfortunately. What, did I just see the faintest... Is that the faintest of smiles? I gotta imagine that. There was no doubt, this Dallas was the very one I had been seeking. So that Dallas developed amnesia, and was transformed into a Pokemon, which must be because of the accident during our time travel. Well, Dallas's memory loss was a lucky stroke for me. After all, your partner failed to recognize who I am. It was quite easy to win over your partner's trust, and it was also easy to drag them to the future when the time came. Eric, that star really was lying. Which left you, Grovile, the last part of the job to finish. I was a human from the future, and I was Grovile's partner on a mission to prevent the planet's paralysis. And that's how I ended up in Stanley's world? Grovile and Dallas, with the both of you here, everything will end when we finally dispose of you. That will finally put an end to Grovile's glimmer of hope. Everything ends. Everything ends with you. Ha 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 No. That's no oh, Have you finally come to terms with your fate? Get Grovile. Dallas. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end. For you. <laughs> Eric, hey Dallas, Grovile, you can't give up! Yeah, you say not to give up, but what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think! I know! Celebi, can you time travel ability to teleport us just this short, short distance to the passage of time? It would be easier with Dialga here. Dialga's temporal Pokemon, it controls time. No, I, that's not Celebi. Dialga is a temporal Pokemon, it controls time itself. Even if I can make us travel in time, he'll have no trouble exposing it. It just has to work for an instant. Please, attack! <laughs> time to travel. What? 
they, they, they've, uh, they vanished? Master Diogo! Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, a time trial path has been shattered. There they are. We almost made it to the passage of time. Dive in now, you can make it. Now, into the passage of time. Well, what about you, Celebi? Don't fret over me. I told you I can't be caught. Stop the planet's paralysis. Change history. Thanks. Thank you, Celebi. You're not getting away. Oh no. Oh, she got away. Go. Yeah. Wow. Stanley and Dallas, partners in time. Actually, I'm playing that game on my Wii U right now. As in, like, Mario and Luigi, not like, whatever. This, this is... Home sweet home. Eric. What? Dallas, where? Isn't this where I met you, Dallas? It's like that beach. So that means... Could it be... No, it is! We're in the past! We made it back to our world! Yes! We made it, Dallas! Yeah. Hey, girl vile! Look! We made it home! Back to our world! So we did it. We made it through. Back to this world? Yes! This is where I met Dallas! <clears throat> Let's see. I think it was right here. This is where I met, found Dallas out cold. So that's what happened. A trip through time sent me to the eastern forest. And Dallas and I both reached your world far away from each other. Oh, that's right. There's a lot I don't understand, like the whole concept of time travel. Will you please explain it to us? <clears throat> My throat is battered. But this really isn't a place to talk, so let's go to Wiggly Tuff's Guild and talk there. Before we went to the future, we trained there and roomed there. It'll be the perfect place. Okay, let's go to Wiggly Tuff's Guild. Hold on. Will I be well received if I go to the guild? After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world. If I went to your guild, would everyone be shocked? Do you think they'd try to capture me? Eric, come to think of it, you're right. What to do? Explain it to them? Oh, I know. There's a good place. But of all going through Treasure Town. It shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. Okay, it's this way. Actually, home sweet home. I kind of miss this place. There's a message from it. Uh. Oh. Well, that's how Lopini looks in this game. It's weird. Also, well, Lopini and Gardevoir are in the same team. Some developer was, uh. Alright. Like to, all right, special episodes been unlocked. I I I I don't know if I'll even be able to do those in this last play. To be honest. Oh, that's how that thing looks. This cave is in on a Sharpedo Bluff. Sharpedo Bluff. Yes, I think the name comes from the fact that the cliff itself is shaped like a Pokemon named Sharpedo. As far as I can tell. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. Isn't there a duck trio? Like, isn't duck trio supposed to be there? It's down here. I lived here before I joined the guild. Go ahead, go in. Oh yeah, that's why you did live here before you joined the guild. Oh, this is Stanley's house. I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. No one noticed this? I mean, like, this is prime real estate right here. Here. I'm glad no one's wrecked this place. That's proof of how little, of how little notice this place attracts. I'm, look at it. I, I'm, I'm, so I guess you can't really see it from when you look above at it. From, like, from below, I guess. It may be better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. Or could you just explain it to them? And what are they gonna do? Believe Dust Noir? But Dallas... 
I never expected you to be that very same Dallas. Girl, Val, can you tell us more about that? Yes, Dallas and I. We are jointly investigating the planet's paralysis. <sighs> a Pokemon and a human? Paired together? Yeah. And Dallas had, or has, a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the planet's paralysis. It played a vital part. By special ability, you mean a dimensional scream, don't you? Exactly. <clears throat> throat but the dimensional scream has been a drawback the dimensional scream requires the presence of a trusted pokemon partner without that partner the ability cannot be triggered a trusted partner that's why we work together the dimensional scream is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden we need to find out where the time gears were in the past we needed the dimensional scream to accomplish that but wait a second you said that there has to be a trusted partner nearby for the dimensional scream to work. But the dimensional scream was being triggered not long after we met. Your point? Doesn't that show you how much you two trusted each other from the start? Eric, when you put it like that, it's a little embarrassing. In addition, Dallas developed amnesia. Upon meeting you, Stanley, your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps Dallas grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Oh, there's another thing I don't understand. Is the dimensional scream triggered in response only to time gears? Right. The opposite is also true. The dimensional scream is not triggered that in places that aren't connected to time gears. Hmm. Really? That's how I remember it. Listen, Dallas, do you remember that time we went off near Drowsy and during our first exploration? And there are other times too. We went to places that seemed to have nothing to do with time gears. But even in places like that, the dimensional scream was triggered sometimes, wasn't it? Are you sure? That never happened in the future. The dimensional scream was never triggered by places that had no tie to the time gears whatsoever. Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently here. Perhaps things are just different in this world. Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream is altered in the past. So in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connection to the time gears. Oh, that explains it. Maybe that's why, that time, when we were in the future. A dimensional scream! Use a dimensional scream, Dallas! Such as frozen water! Who knows, you may see something! Oh, I understand, that's true. It's worth a try. Touching that frozen water might give us clues about what's happening to us. We can't dawdle, let's say the light catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. Now such a frozen spray of water. Well, Dallas, can you see anything? No, I'm not sensing anything. Maybe I couldn't envision anything that time we were in the future. Because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Maybe that's why my dimensional scream failed to work. Maybe Gorval is right about the future and the past being different. Or different enough to make my dimensional scream ability work differently. Anyway, like I was saying, we're investigating the planet's paralysis. We use the dimensional scream ability to identify the location of the time gears in your world where we were in the future. The ZL um, thing kicked in, and now I have to press ZR now, but I don't want to because I'm going to interrupt the cutscene, but I really do want to. Because my finger just really wants to press it. Oh, oh yeah, right, drought stone. Right, whatever. After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us from our world to... Oh, I'm gonna cave. Yeah. That feels good. Nothing like we use E triggers. That brought us from our world to your future to this world. However... Oh, wow, wow. Are, are you okay? Oh, that, that, that's Groval. No, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, no, I can't. Hold on. Wow. Well, that was Groval. We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. I thought that was a boat. Thus, Dallas and I became separated. For some reason, Dallas got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. I can only guess that it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. I I came from the future. And not just that, I came with a mission to prevent the planet's paralysis. I don't know, it seems so loundish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So, Dallas, you may not remember any of this, but you were my closest friend. I worried about you when we were separated. I'm glad to see where you were safe. Your appearance may have changed, and though you've lost your memory, you're still you. And none of this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, Dallas, I'm glad to see you again. Now, 
We have to decide on our on, on our course of action. Like I've told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. <sighs> what are you going to do? Um, I'm a little worried about how the time stops in the region where its time gears are moved. But you sure that it'll only be temporary? That's right. And as soon as the time gears are set in place in Temporal Tower, time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Well then, we'll go too. We'll go with you, Grimile. Taking a time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in that area. We have to prevent the planet's paralysis. Okay then, we'll go together. But the hour is late. We're also exhausted from all the running we've done. I should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Yeah. Hmm? Stanley's in here. Maybe outside. You just you just disappeared for a minute. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yes, just thinking. Thinking about Dosnor. No, that's not it. Sure finding out we were being deceived came as a real shock. But hearing a story earlier, Grovile. Really drove it home. What Dusnoir said in the future really was true. It was really true. And it made me realize that Dallas really did come from the future. I was mulling over things like that. Hey, look, Grovile. Sunlight. It's sunrise. Oh. Oh, it's just him again. It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. Why do I think that sunrise can ever feel so renewing? The sun rises. And it sets. We take that for granted, and that's only natural. But the things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things. And they're precious. All I'd ever known is the future's world of darkness. Upon coming to this world, and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it. Strengthen my resolve to turn history away from the future of darkness. There's one thing I wanted to ask of you, Stanley. It's about that time in the future. When we were confronted by the Elder. Frankly, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. Yeah, I remember a game, but you don't have to give me the flashback. Eric. Hey, Dallas, Grovile, you can't give up. Yeah, so you have to give up. Okay, you're also doing this blue situation, you know, whatever, whatever. You saw me voice this. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. But maybe, maybe it was because Dallas stood by me. Dallas? Take a look at this. This, what could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new. I, I, I get the idea. This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. I've been wondering about that thing for the entire game, by the way. Finally, they've mentioned it again. I have this dream of one day solving the mystery behind the fragment. But I was such a coward. I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. It was then that I met Dallas. Dallas... Well, okay, I'm putting my faith in you, Dallas. Yes, I totally believe in you, Dallas. Yes, Dallas is always there to cheer me up, and... Grrrr, yeah, yeah. Eric, this is scary. Yes, it was. But we need to be brave. And I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Dallas. It all gave me courage. With Dallas, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's thanks to my charge plus the spark strategy. That's how I came to feel over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. Alright, I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Dallas is a special quality makes others feel that way. The same way that I care for Dallas as a friend. You, Stanley, also feel that same way about Dallas. Dallas is lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yes. 
So what is this thing anyway? What, what is the regular what, what relic fragment? I mean, like, we still don't know. Alright. It's agreed that we will collect all of the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map. From here, the underground lake would be closest, I guess. How about Tree Shroud Forest? That's where I got my first time gear the last time. Where is that? Here. It's a little far from here, but there's no one like Uxi guarding that time gear. Oh, great. If we're to fight someone over time gear, that would attract attention. That would be a concern here, right? Exactly. That's it then. That's where we're going. On with the tree shot forest. Oh, we're already going there, okay. This is it. This is the entrance to the tree shroud forest. Oh? What is it, Grovile? The atmosphere somehow feels different than last time. No. I must be imagining it. We'll go in when you're ready. Uh, well, I think that is high time to end this episode. I mean, wow! I mean, we, got, we got a bunch of plot, we got character development. What more could you ask for? I think we're starting to ramp up this game, but uh, we're going to continue on in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all when that happens. Whenever I sit down to record again. Yeah. See you guys.